to be my helper. Rodney. I need somebody. Rodney. 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 No, oh. Rodney. Come on up here, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Come right over here. Uh, and how old are you, sir? Five. Five years old. Rodney, Rodney who's five, is going to teach Stan the fireman, who's 21, how to do stop, drop, and roll. The first thing you do, well, he's already doing it. You stop. And that keeps the fire from getting any bigger, right, sir? The second thing you do, it's called drop. You lay on the floor and cover your face. Not because he's scary looking, so the fire wouldn't burn it, silly. And the third thing is, you roll around, and that squishes out the fire, right, sir? Let's see if he can do it. He stops. He drops. He rolls to the right. Cover your beautiful face, sir. Roll, Rodney. You want to do it again? Got to do it again. Here, I'll hold on to your hip. Okay, he stops. He drops. He rolls to the right. Cover your face, sir. <laughs> All right, come on over here. Now I'm gonna tell you, he did pretty good. But one other thing I want you to remember, I want you to make sure you stay long and I want you to cover your face. Because you know what? Stop, drop, and roll is easy and fun to do. Watch this. Now Rodney, can uh, kids teach other kids how to do stop, drop, and roll? Well, yes, they can. Can they teach moms and dads how to do it? Yes, they can. Wait a minute. Let's tell them real loud. The three things you do if your clothes catch fire is stop, Drop. Doesn't get any better than that. Big round of applause for my Have a seat. You know what? You guys are so cute. I want to tell you a story about when I was a kid. When I was four, you guys, I went to school too. When I was four, I was the smallest kid at my school. But I was a good boy. Every morning, I made my bed. Every night, I brushed my teeth without being asked. Oh, yes. And all day long, I said please and thank yous. But one day, you guys, I got in trouble. I know what you're thinking. Stan, the fireman was naughty. Well, I didn't mean to be. But you know your mom and dad say, don't play in the kitchen and never touch the stove because it can be hot. Well, one day, I went in the kitchen by myself, and I didn't mean to be naughty. I just wanted to see if my mom was making me macaroni and cheese. So I walked into the kitchen, and I saw the pan. And I reached my little hand up, and I reached it up higher, and I reached it all the way up, and I touched that pan, and it was so hot. It burned me so bad, I still have the scar on my finger today. It burned me so bad, I cried. I cried so hard, my mom came running. She said, Stan, what happened? I said, I burned myself in a pan, Mom. But my mom knew what to do. No, don't laugh. Burns hurt. Listen to that. Burns hurt. So my mom knew what she did is she put cold water on my burn. Then she cleaned it, put ointment on it. Then she put a Band-Aid on it. Oh, yeah, here's the cute part. Then she gave it a kiss to make it feel better. Yeah. No, my yes. mom was good that way. But then she sat me down like you guys are sitting down. And she said, Stan, kids should never, ever play in the kitchen. And they should never touch the stove or pans on the stove. And you know what I told my mom? I knew that already and I'll never do it again. And I never did. But she told me other things that could burn me. Did you guys know the toaster gets hot and can burn you? Yeah. Don't play with the toaster. Oh, and when you're in the bathtub, don't turn on and off the hot and cold water. Let your parents set the temperature because hot water can burn you. Oh, and in the backyard, never ever play by the barbecue grill because that could be really hot and you wouldn't even know it. Oh, yes, and you know what else? Light bulbs get hot, even night light bulbs. I didn't know that either. So make sure you don't touch those because I don't want you to get burned either. But then, you guys, she told me something that made me sad. She said, Stan, kids should never, ever, ever go by or play by candles. Why well, I started crying. She said, why are you crying, buddy? I said, Mom, you're forgetting. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'll be five. I won't even get to go buy my birthday candles. She laughed. She said, Stan, kids can go buy birthday candles. So the next day, I had my birthday, turned five, blew out all the candles. Oh, yeah, I ate three pieces of cake. Well, my mom wasn't looking. I had the best birthday ever. But then at the end, all my friends were going home. They were like, bye, Stan. See you later, alligator. And I was like, bye, you guys. I shut the front door. I started walking through the house like a five-year-old. <laughs> I looked in the kitchen, you guys. Guess what I saw at my house? I saw a fire. This isn't my dirty dishes. This pan was on the stove and on fire. I looked in there and I thought, I could put that fire out myself. But I remembered what my mom taught me that day. She said, Stan, kids should never ever try to put a fire out themselves. No matter how fire gets started at your house, don't try to put it out yourself. If you see a fire, yell, 
fire and run outside your safe meeting place. Well, guess what I did? I yelled fire like a good boy and ran outside. Well, my mom knew for a grease fire on the stove, all she had to do was take the top of that pan, she put it on, the fire went out just like that. She came outside to my safe meeting place. First thing she said, I was a good boy. Second thing, she gave me a kiss on my cheek right here. <laughs> But then, you know what? She had something. I said, Mom, what do you have? She said, Stan, I brought you a surprise. I said, a surprise? I love surprises. What is it? She goes, I can't tell. you got to watch. So I watched really close because when she opened it up, when she opened this up, well, my favorite surprise was in it. Oh, just take a look and use your imagination because it might still be filled with, well, it might be filled with suckers. She said, see, Stan, you don't have to be a dumb dumb to learn about fire safety. Look at all these suckers in here. I don't think I could eat all these myself. I sure wish I had some friends I could cheer them with. You know what I mean? Do you guys like suckers too? You guys are like my best friends. I have an idea. How about, how about I put them in a bag and I give them to Miss Friday? When you go home tonight, Tell your mom and dad, say, Mom, Dad, I learned to be fire safe today. May I please have a sucker just like Stan got when he learned to be fire safe? Should I leave a whole bunch for you here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll do that. Okay, you guys ready for the test? Yeah. All right. Let's hear those answers. Are firefighters your friends? Yeah. 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 Should you ever hide from a firefighter? No. Yeah. Should kids play with lighters or start fires? No. Yeah. Should they practice stop, drop, and roll? Yeah. yeah. Do they remember the rhyme, don't hide, go outside? Yeah! Do they remember 911 and their best friends come? Yeah! Oh, should they have a safe meeting place outside? Yeah! Oh, should they play in the kitchen? No! Should they touch hot pots or pans? No! Oh, should they check their bedroom door to see if it's hot? No! Yeah. Should they stay low below the smoke? No. Yes! Oh, I know. Should they try to put a fire out themselves? No. I only have one more question for you guys. Please get this one right, please. I have your present. Would you like to see what your present is now? Yeah! Well, that's an easy one, because guess what, you guys? I brought you guys a present. The fire chief said to me, Stan, if they get all the answers right, give them a certificate. And right here is a certificate that says, you guys are junior firefighters. Have your teacher write it here, or if you're big enough to write it yourself, write your name right here. When you go home, your mom and dad are gonna say, what did you do today? And you show them and you say, mom, dad, I learned to be fire safe today, and here's how you teach them. You say, I met Stan the fireman, and he told us about Speckles the fire dog. That's the real one, Speckles was my dog. And look at it, tell them about how we learned about little boys shouldn't play with lighters or matches. That's in there, right there. And this is about firefighters being your friends. Remember to tell them we're like your best friends. Oh, a little girl's checking her door and staying low below the smoke. Tell them about that too. And then tell them about the safe meeting place outside. Remember, one, two, three, don't hide, go outside. And then fun stuff to do in the middle. I like mazes, so I put a maze in there. And then look at this. Stop, drop, and roll. We learned that today too. It's easy and fun. And then tell them about how I got burned in the kitchen. Oh yeah, and on this side right here, Show them this side, it's just fun stuff to do. And on the back, right below where your name is, there's a list. When you go home, tell your mom and dad you met Stan the Fireman. Tell them you became a junior firefighter. Tell them I had a silly story, but tell them to read this list and you'll teach them to be fire safe like I taught you. You guys will do that because you're best friends with me, right you guys? Yeah! Thanks you guys. Yeah. You tell me how many I'll call you what you need, I'll make sure you guys get enough of them. And you know what, you guys? I think I have a couple suckers in here. Oh, let me get them right in there. I hope for you this is enough. Oh, uh, there's bubble gum and strawberry. And I better give them to, give them to Miss Friday so I don't get tempted to eat one right there. How many coloring books total do you think you need today, Miss Friday? If there's anybody missing, count them in. All right, let's She just asked, hey, listen to this. She just asked if we have time for pictures. Duh, with this face, look at my cute face. There's 50 of them, Mary.
Are you gonna tell your mom and dad when you get home? Yeah! I know what happens when you get home now and say, what did you do at school today? You always say, nothing. <laughs> today, you better say you met Stan, a fireman. And some of you guys, I've seen you before, but you guys are getting bigger all the time, right? So show me your muscles, firefighters. Get your fire hoses out and squirt my friend Dave right there. Oh yeah, squirt your teachers. But don't squirt me when I'm trying to clean up my mouth. Hey! I like you guys. Squirt them again. Yeah. Believe me, I've been already out in it. So are we all going to come up here to get our picture taken? Is that what we're going to do? Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to tell you something is, this gets really warm right here. I can't, I'm not going anywhere right now. I should have brought my other. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. She's going to put this on her desk. I know who loves me the best. Stan the Fireman, 2017, October, Fire Safety Month.